Boys, 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 boys. Welcome back to another video. Today is one that I've been excited for for a very long time. I am finally getting my car back from the shop, 1.6 Motorsports. And the transmission is now going to be completely repaired with a lightweight flywheel from Exetti, a stage one clutch from Exetti, and actually an EM2 clutch master cylinder from Exetti. I'm super hyped. This fixed like literally everything that was the issue with the car. So it's gonna be awesome now, and I'm actually going to pick it up in just a few minutes. And I wanna give you guys my first impressions of how it feels, and I want to give you guys an impression of what this will do for your car if you guys decide to do this kind of upgrade. Oh, boy. oh who's that good boy? What? Dude, you swerved me, come here. Boy. So boys, if I could, uh, in honor of this video and in honor of the Civic being absolutely sick after this, can I get a, a sked it in the comments, please? Thank you, a sked it. All right, boys, here it goes. This is the first drive of my SI after getting Clutch master cylinder, lightweight flywheel, and stage one clutch. I am hyped, it feels very different. Oh my God. Whew. Oh man, that is nuts. Oh my God. Oh my God, boys, <laughs> holy shit. That is insane. Ooh. Oh my God. All right, all right. Oh my God. I'm just sitting here freaking out. Hold on. I have to collect myself. It's so weird. It's so weird. It's so different. All right. From stock, it is so different right now. This is nuts. All right, the clutch throw is like it's like half the distance. I don't know how that's possible. Second, it is like an on-off switch, and I'm afraid I'm gonna stall. Wow, it is, it's almost lighter. It feels, it feels lighter. Oh my God, it grabs so quick. I don't even know how to get it into gear. Oh my God, it's so weird. It's so weird. Oh my god, it grabs immediately. It grabs immediately. That is insane. I'm like scared to drive this car right now. Holy shit. What the frick? Guys, I've already realized that this episode's gonna have a lot of profanity in it and there's not really much I can do about it because I'm, I'm stunned right now. This is so different. It is so different to drive. I'm just excited to do third gear. Oh my God, it feels so smooth. Everything feels amazing. First, oh, all right, boys, come on. Oh, I'm like slamming gears. This, I don't even, I don't need to hold third anymore. Oh my God, I, I forgot. Like I, I put in third and I was holding the hand, my hand on the shifter. Oh, and I just remembered I don't have to. Guys. Like, I am not hyping this up right now. This is my legit reaction. I am not even joking. Like, I am this excited. Holy shit. Mom, Dad, Kearney, everyone. I'm happy right now. This, this is happiness. I'm smiling. Woo! <laughs> oh my god. Guys, it feels really, really good. It's something that I'm gonna have to get used to for sure, but it feels so good. I still was holding it in third. I really have to, oh my God, boys. All right guys, there is like no clutch travel. Oh my God, and it grabs literally right at the bottom. It's so, oh, it's so weird. I know I'm gonna love it. I know I'm gonna love it. Right now it's really hard to drive. For me, for me, I've never driven like an aggressive 
transmission sound. Third gear holds. Oh my god. This is so crazy. Oh, that blip. Boys, life is good. It's sunny outside. The SI is running better than it ever has been, ever has since I've owned it. It's amazing. It's amazing. All right, so all I've been doing for this video so far is just reacting and just being hyped. And like, I, I am, I'm still gonna be hyped the entire way. I just have to give you guys my impressions on exactly how it feels. Um, so since I had so much done all at once, you know, clutch master cylinder EM2, Xetti stage one clutch and the Xetti 8.9 .9 pound lightweight flywheel, um, it's hard to tell what is affecting what, but things that I noticed right off the bat that I've already said are clutch grab super low, like literally right at the bottom. I noticed that the clutch travel is a lot less and the clutch feels lighter. I don't know whether to attribute these things to the EM2 CMC or to the Xetti Stage 1 clutch. Uh, I assume that the clutch travel is probably from the CMC. Uh, the clutch feeling light is probably from the Xetti Stage 1 clutch and grabbing all the way at the bottom is probably a combination of the two upgrades. Now the lightweight flywheel, um, it's really hard for me to tell exactly how much of a difference it made right now because I'm not really downshifting hard. I need to put 500 miles on this car, light driving, nothing crazy, um, just to break in the clutch. Uh, I can't rip it, can't do any hard downshifts. Um, maybe I'll do a little bit in a minute here and let you guys know how it feels, but I'm, I'm not trying to push it. I really want to do this right, and I want this to be reliable and last a very long time. Oh, yeah. All right, that was just a little downshift right there. I gave it a tiny blip, and just with the tiniest blip, it went all the way up to 3K. Boys, if you guys have any issues with your transmission on this car, and you guys are thinking about doing some upgrades, I highly recommend doing any of these upgrades. The flywheel is noticeable, very noticeable. The clutch and CMC is insane. I, I'm gonna have to give you guys an update at some point, a couple days, maybe next video I'll have it in there, of what I think about all this. I kind of got to feel it out still. This is literally my first drive. I got you guys my first impressions. That was me backing out of the lot that the car was parked in from the shop. I have not driven this until now. Oh my God, it revs so fast. It's insane. That is so cool. All right, so here's the question. Is it worth it to get a lightweight flywheel? Yes, it is worth it to get a lightweight flywheel, especially this one on this car. I haven't noticed any chatter. It's quiet and it feels amazing. Is it worth it to get an Xetti Stage 1 clutch? I think that everyone in the Honda scene right now probably knows the answer to that one. And it is a yes by me. Is it worth it to get an Xetti EM2 CMC for this car? Yes, it is. It was an expensive ass bill, boys. Uh, I wish I could have done it myself. I just was, I was just too intimidated by it all. I don't know enough about transmissions. Hey, this is my daily driver, and I wanted it to be done professionally. So I, I got it done, and boys, it is worth it. All of it. I, I'm, I'm hyped. Like I said, right now, everything is amazing. I will give you guys an update in my next video, let you guys know how it is still. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment. Boys, I legitimately am this excited about this right now. Like this is like this is my first enthusiast car and like I just I have some actual like mods now. Like I this this car is modded now, you know what I mean? I don't know, it's just exciting. Like I I know I didn't do it myself. I wish I could say I did. But boys, if you're in the position that I was in, it's a bold move. Good move. Also, if you guys like this video and you do want to see more of my Civic Please consider subscribing. I am fully committed right now. I'm doing two days a week, Tuesday and Friday. I'm, I'm hyped on YouTube. We're going all in. So if you guys, if you guys want more of this, please subscribe. Welcome to the fam, to the gang, to the squad, to the crew. I don't really know, dude. We're only at 500. We can call ourselves whatever we want. So thank you guys for watching. As always, 
I'm Yanni Knowles. You guys are the best, and have a nice day.